Daniel, welcome back to the country. Congratulations as well. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You must be delighted, mate. Yeah, oh, honestly, mate. It's, uh, yeah, still sort of getting my head around it, I think. You know, it's a pretty pretty long year. So, yeah, just sort of digesting it all now. And, yeah, still obviously um, yeah, pretty pretty excited. It's still will still go, though. You know, we've got a couple of tournaments in a couple of weeks just to, to kick us off, um, kick us off for next year's season. So, yeah, still will go. Look, I remember talking to you. I don't. It was, it was a couple of months. Might have even been two or three months ago. And obviously, we we're you know we we're rooting for you, wanting to you to get this card. And you were close. You know, you were actually in that position where if you stayed consistent. So, what happened from between when we last spoke and this time? Yeah, I think um, I don't know. It was just one of those things where I sort of had a bit more urgency. I think coming down that final stretch, and you know, I went through. I think I may have mentioned last time. You know, I went through a bit of a rough patch through the middle of the year, and. Um, sort of had a chat to Foxy about it all and sort of he, he talked about like the old the second year blues and you know obviously being away from from home for so long it can uh, can take its toll on you mentally and, and physically and so yeah you know after I sort of had that chat with him and you know took a pretty good hard look at myself and, and what I was sort of uh, focusing on and, and basing my goals around and I think I sort of just lost track of my process a little bit um apologies if it's a little loud by that's the way right. that's right you're sweet <laughs> um but yeah, it was um, yeah, it was just nice to have that conversation with them and, and know that you know, being away from host so the home uh, for so long can can take its toll on you. And uh, yeah, I just had to sort of bring myself back and, and focus on you know my process and what I knew worked for me. And uh, yeah, luckily enough, I was able to you know come home with a few good results in, in those final few events. A couple of key things here. One is to admit your vulnerability and the fact that you can reach out to somebody who's a close mate who's also you look you know you look up to who's also overachieving big time. And also, I suppose, just, you know, to know now that the demons are going to come into your head and you've got to have a process to be able to put those demons to one side and refocus again. It's a big learner, isn't it, mate? Yeah, 100%. And, I mean, that's all that's all part of it, you know. I'm, I'm obviously pretty early in my career and, you know, it's, uh, it's a very different environment to, to what I'm used to, um, you know, being out in such a competitive environment, you know, for, for months on end and, yeah, it just it can seem like it's non-stop at times. Obviously, you know, I love it. I absolutely love the competition and I love playing overseas and, and competing. But, you know, at the same time, it can it's to take its toll on you and you do need your uh, your strategies to, to help you sort of bring yourself back when you need to and, and, you know, keep yourself focused on all the right things. Daniel Hillier is with us and has just secured his place on the DP Tour. So that's alongside Ryan Fox. He used to be the old European Tour. Look, I mean, it's a, it's a lonely solo old life at times. I know that we look at it and we think, God, how glorious. You've got a golf club, you're playing these courses. I mean, you're getting money. I mean, all of that. But, you know, you do tend to spend a fair bit of time on your own in your own headspace, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of lonely weeks out there. On You know, you're in the hotels by yourself. And, you know, obviously, for me, being, for the most part, the only Kiwi out there um, on the Challenge Tour, obviously, Josh Geary was out there for a little bit earlier in the season. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that second half of the year was sort of yeah, it can be a little bit isolating, I guess, being so far away from home and away from all your all your family. But at the same time, you know, it's it is what I want to be doing, and you know, it's a small small price to to pay to uh, to do the game, you know, play the game that I love. Living the dream, mate. And I see that they're offering US twenty thousand for rookie. Welcome to the show, rookie. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, it, I think it's an ad, it's sort of an advance on um, on your uh, on your earnings, and so. Yeah, it's not. It's not a. You know, it's not a free twenty thousand dollars. Unfortunately, that would have been. You know, a nice little kickstart. But um, yeah, it is great. They. You know, the the tour have worked really hard to to make sure that you know graduates like myself have um, have a good platform to sort of to leap off and and make sure that you know if we've got a lot of travel early on in the year that we're able to to sort of fund that and don't have to worry about that side of things. And yeah, it's it's really great that you know the tour have been working really hard to make sure that. Um, you know, the guys coming through uh, are looked after as well as, as we can be. And, uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a great little um, little boost of there to help get us started. Daniel, I feel like now you're on the start line. Is that what it feels like? Yeah, definitely. You know, I feel like, you know, it's all, all just getting started. And obviously, as I said before, I'm pretty, pretty early in my career. And, you know, if I'd, uh, you know, looked back a few years back and I was told that I'd be on, on the main tour with a full card, yeah. Um, in 2022 then yeah i would have been you know over the moon and, and so yeah to have the opportunity to get a full season out there is, is really exciting and 
uh, yeah, obviously, as I said earlier, on the, I've got the first couple of events underway in Aussie uh, in a couple of weeks. Mm. And, yeah, it's going to be a, be a great way to get it started. The new season begins um, in just a couple of weeks, one week after the current season ends. So, you know, it pretty much overlaps. There's not a lot of time off here, is there? And I know Ryan's in Sun City at the moment. Um, you've got uh, South African and Australia. The Australian PGA is on the same week as the Joe Big Open, Australian Open, same week as the South African Open. So, what are you choosing? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the two. I'm playing the two Aussie events, so um, obviously you know pretty pretty close to home, and yeah, it's nice to you know be able to take advantage of those. Um, obviously, just getting back from Europe, I don't don't have to travel too far for them. So yeah, need to need to take advantage of the, the events close to home when you can. We don't get many of them, but um, yeah, you know, obviously obviously Foxy's still over there in, in South Africa at the moment. I see he's just shot eight under in the yeah, first mate. round, which yeah. is yeah, awesome, you know, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So that's that's awesome to see. Just yeah, so hopefully he can keep that up, and then uh, yeah, no doubt I'm sure he'll be. He'll be feeling pretty good coming back into Aussie. And, um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's an exciting couple of weeks, really, to get it started. And how's your form? You hitting well? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, came off a good week. I managed to sneak into a main tour event in Portugal uh, the week before the final and you know, put, up a, put up a decent showing there. And, yeah, felt like felt like the game was in pretty good shape over there and just didn't quite translate that into the final as much as I'd like. But, uh, yeah, obviously... You know, can't complain with how I'm playing at the moment, so I just need to keep my head down. And um, yeah, after these two events are done, I've got a I've got a good bit of time at home to sort of lay low and uh, and get ready for the you know the following year. So. Daniel Hillier is good. with us. Yeah, so you're back home. So what is it? I mean, it's a, a really precious time, isn't it? Just to catch up with all of those who've actually supported you, loved you all throughout this time, and you're going to have to play some golf while you're at home as well, mate, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people that I haven't seen for a long time, and so. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Or you know, when when I come back home, there's a lot of a lot of my, my close friends that you know want want to go out for rounds of golf. And yeah, that. yeah. So it's good. It's a good little little change of environment. You know, going out just just having a social round with some mates and, and enjoying it a bit more without you know all the pressure of, of competition. So yeah, it's it's good fun just to to be back and to be able to do that and yeah share some of the experiences with with everyone back home. A couple of quick questions. We'll let you go. What's the biggest thing that you've learned about yourself about the fact that hey, you didn't get it last year. You you knuckled down. You refocused. You know you've absorbed the pressure. You know the stress of it, and you've achieved this goal. You've been able to tick this box. I mean that to me is is really significant. Do you feel like it is as well? Do you feel like you've really learned a lot about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, that first year uh, was obviously pretty challenging through COVID and. And uh, with all the restrictions there, but at the same time, you know, it was um, it was a real eye opener just to see how in- incredibly tough it is to to compete out there. And you know, all the guys out there are working so hard now to to try and make that next step. And it's just getting more and more competitive each year. And so I kind of kind of realised that you know, if I wanted to, you know, obviously just missing out last year, I, if I wanted to um, to get it second time round, I had to keep my head down and and work as hard as I ever have. And yeah, the fact that I was able to to grind that out and you know do all the right things throughout the year for the most part. There were some weeks where I was, uh, you know, as I said, through the middle of the patch, didn't quite go to plan. But yeah, just to just to be able to keep my head down and and know that you know if I'm if I'm doing all the right things that I I can compete at the highest level. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's really reassuring. And hopefully I can you know continue with that mindset uh, throughout next season. Thirty nine tourneys, twenty six countries, five continents. God, your passport's going to look terrific. I love looking through a passport with all those stamps in it. I mean, how many of these tourneys are you going to play? Uh, I think you know I'll, I'll be able to get most of them, which is great. You know, but there's so many events on the calendar that you kind of have to pick and choose a little bit. And so, yeah, most guys tend to play between twenty and twenty five events a year. Um, so yeah, I'll sort of keep it in that sort of ballpark, and there'll, there'll be uh, yeah. Won't be too many that I'll, I'll miss out. There's actually some, some decent breaks on the calendar uh, next year, which is great. So I'll be able to come home a little more than, than I've been able to the last couple of years. And yeah, so so that'll be that'll be good for the headspace and, and the uh, you know the mental and physical um, shape of my body. And yeah, so it should be should be good. I'll be able to plan it out really well. I think. Well, you've got a couple of stalkers on board here now, mate. I mean, we actually consider ourselves part of the fan club and uh, we're so proud of you. And I, I know that probably doesn't mean much because we're just a couple of guys on the radio, but we're very proud of you, mate, what you've achieved and the fact that, you know, we spoke to you a little while ago and that you've actually succeeded and got to this stage. So, you know, time to pat yourself on the back and now we go again, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I appreciate you guys' uh, support a lot. And, um, yeah, you know, it's always great being able to chat to guys from back home and, and uh, yeah, share the experiences. So, no, I really appreciate your time.